the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and Scott Tang. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Yeah! What up? I'm Scott. And I'm Bill. And this is... The, the Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle, Cubicle Show, the Season 2 finale! Oh, this is what goes on last uh, show. There will be no show, obviously, tomorrow because there's no Cubicle Show on Fridays. But next week, there's no Cubicle Show at all. Billy the Kid will be on vacation, enjoying some... Uh, much needed relaxation, some R and R down in the uh, beautiful June Florida climate, where it's going to be hot and muggy and thunderstorming all week long. He's going on his vacation. <laughs> yeah, with my friend from college, <laughs> his bay. Oh man. Oh man, but uh, so we won't be here next week. But we got a great show to end out season two. Then when Bill returns, we will go on season three. Season three is going to be kind of short though because. I'm going on vacay in August. <laughs> the, the, the wokeness <laughs> the season wokeness. is going to be short enough to keep you awake. Yeah. You can only be so woke. Right. You, you know? Because <laughs> you don't want to be Before always tired. Yeah, you it's hazardous to your health to yeah, stay woke for too long. You get tattoos long. that you regret and all that stuff. It's, it's just ridiculous, <laughs> you know? Always tired. Oh, man. Uh, we got stuff to get to today. Rihanna's out here being a kleptomaniac. We'll talk about that. World Cup has a major shortage of a and very... A very important resource. Yes. Um, Essential to the game. Fans are screaming something at Taylor Swift during her shows. Find out what that is. Uh, why Star Wars is doing some major backtracking right now. I think they had a dose of reality. Uh, nice reality check, some would say. And um, it's been confirmed. The engagement. The engagement everyone has been talking about. Sometimes when you lead with love... You fall into a relationship way too fast, though. <laughs> or I should say you fall into a marriage a and engagement way too fast. Oh, uh, Pitt Davidson? Pitt, are the Grand Davisons. Grand Davidson, yes. Uh, what is going on here? Is that what we're hitting? We're yes. leading with We're going to lead with Grand Davidson. Us, uh, okay, so Pete Davidson went on Jimmy Fallon last night and finally officially confirmed... That they are engaged. This is the first time either of them has spoken out about the engagement. So basically, as soon as he sits down on the chair next to Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy was like, you know you didn't have to get, get engaged to Ariana Grande to come on our show. And Pete was like, but I did, though. Like, I did get engaged. Yeah. Um, and so everybody cheered and everything. And, you know, they were talking about, like, like what's it like to be engaged to Ariana what's Grande? What's it like? It's like, and, um, where's my future thing? Oh, it's like Oh, this. yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the quote from Pete Davidson was, I feel like I won a contest. So sick, it's effing lit. That's what he's... <laughs> those are his, his romantic... His, this is how he uh, serenades his love. is lit. Oh, I mean, oh. he's not the artist, to be fair. He's the comedian, and it was pretty funny watching him talk about how, like, you know, he walks down the street and people are congratulating him and tipping their caps like they did to Jared Jeter in the commercials, like, when he was for the season before he was retiring. Nobody's and he's doing about that to you, Pete. How's, Nobody uh, knows who you are. I, well, uh, people know who he is now. Uh, I still, if I saw him, I I watched Saturday Night Live. I have barely have missed an episode of Saturday Night Live since I started watching it, like, freaking 20 years ago. Um... I don't think I'd recognize him in the street. I'm not even going to I mean, lie. you know, he could be sensationalizing things. He is an entertainer of the comedic variety, and they've yeah. been known to do that kind of yeah. thing. That's why this whole relationship's a laugh. Oh, it's the setup for his his uh, his world tour. Oh, man, I imagine see, if Pete go. Davison warms up the crowd for Ariana Grande. They do a, <laughs> a comedy, like, musical Dude, special. they have to. Now, here's who used to do that. Childish Gambino. He was stand-up comedian. There's a bunch of great stuff. You should go check it out under Donald Glover. Um, when the first time I ever saw Childish Gambino, he released his Camp EP or mm. what a mixtape, whatever it was it called. Was an album. Was that it was a full album? album? Yeah. Um, so as they were building up to it, he had his little tour and he did stand-up and then he performed. And it was that's pretty, pretty cool. dope, to be honest. I with also you. heard of what was it last summer. Earth, Wind, and Fire came to SPAC, and they had JB Smoove opening yeah. up for them. So that's it's not cool. unheard of. That's an, I, I like that you point that out. And I also think it's interesting to kind of tie into that whole thing. We keep getting, like, 
little breadcrumbs of information. Like every single day, we find out another new little another tidbit. One. So, like, what do you think the odds are that tonight uh, Ariana Grande is going to say something about it? Like, I want to hear her take on all this. And this be breaking news for like tomorrow morning, just to keep us talking mm-hmm. about this. It, like it's like they've got complete control over this scenario that the puppet master is just weaving the narrative exactly how they want it. Does and Ariana release her album surprisingly tonight? Um, no, she did. She doesn't have a release date, does she? Exactly. Maybe she does. Maybe that. Ooh, have we stumbled onto the? <laughs> and yeah, I know. Uh, Stan, <laughs> we're going by Stan Lee now. I just, I love <laughs> how it's always back and forth, Kyle. But yeah. I am super selfish. I'm going on a vacation because it's all about me. I only care about me because you know what? I'm selfish. That's fine. Is that fine? Uh, yeah, it's fine. You do. You I'm know, just gonna admit I'm you selfish. Do, you do what you got. Hey, it's not selfish to want to take a break from all I am the selfish. hard work and dedication that we put in sitting here and yapping. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, next week, though, for when Bill is gone, I will continue, though, with the 7.30 live stream of The Daily Dish. Well, that reminds me, uh, Connor, my boy Connor here, checked in on the live stream this morning because I was like, you know, Scott's going to be oh, in here. Oh, Connor, he's, good. he's called he's good. a few times. Yeah, he'll take he'll take good care of you, you know. I was talking about how I was like, you know, I like to think we're on, like, a relatively equal playing field so there won't be a discrepancy in, you know, the entertainment factor. And Connor was like, you're better than Scott. And I was like, whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> Shots right. He said JK with a little crying, laughing emoji. Damn. But, you know. I just wanted you to know. Damn, you're ripping out my soul. I just want you to hurt my soul. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Can I win? No, you can't. But who's better in the afternoon, though? That's the question. This is huh. this is the guy right yeah. here, the lord Obviously. of the afternoon hours. Obviously. Um, I've never done afternoons except when I was filling in for Marissa and Fly. Yeah. So. I have done every shift. I've been full time. We're getting water by. I will talk everything but mornings. I mean, you know what? And it's you've fun. been. Full time in mornings and nights. Mornings and nights, yeah. Damn, son. I did do a little quick little stay in middays, and it was boring. Ten to, <laughs> ten to two on the radio, it is not fun. I remember when I came in here and Tantra referred to it as no man's land. Yeah, no, it really is. It's horrible. <laughs> I, I did my training right over there, and that little that spot right there is where I used to sit here and watch. And learn on my very first days in radio. Yes, yeah, water bottle talk. Yeah. Sorry. We're in the World Cup. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's talk about some other talk, right? Uh, let's talk about Cup. hydration. Yeah. And how important it is when you're watching sports in the summer heat in Russia, where the World Cup is happening, and there's a, there's a shortage. There's a drought of beer. They're running out of beer in Russia because of the World Cup. Um, I guess they just didn't predict that there were going to be so many people who wanted to drink just beer, and that's it. Um, there's a waiter in Moscow who was like, we, we just didn't think they would only want beer. There are really a lot of people in Moscow and they are all drinking. It's wow. hot and it's football. And so to that I say, it's like, well, you know what? Excuse me. Um, when it's really hot out, you don't, you don't want to drink beer because alcohol dehydrates you. Like, that's not good for you. You want to drink some water. But then again, we got a bunch of drunk soccer fans and they're not, they're not going to be, excuse me, that pulled pork. Whew. They're not going to be thinking about um, what's good for them. They're just going to be thinking about having a good time. Yeah. And because of your lack of prepper, prep, help me out. Preparation. Thank you. Uh, of alcohol and or specifically beer at the World Cup, Russia, I have to hit you with the Congratulations. Because you, you know they ain't running out of vodka. Yeah. So that's going to be have to be the next alternative. Fortunately, though, Logical. we won't have to worry about the beer shortage because... Soccer doesn't matter in America. And Team USA is not in the World Cup this year. So so. nobody cares. Although we are going to be hosting it in 2026, but we've got eight years to learn from Russia. Hosting it with Canada and Mexico because it's North America. This is why if you don't learn from history, you're going to suffer because we know know, one major thing about Russia is that you never invade Russia in the winter. It didn't work out for Napoleon. It didn't work out for Hitler. And now we know you don't invade Russia in the summer. If you're looking to watch soccer and drink beer. Because you're so, not going to have any there's beer. there's not going to be any beer. Damn, you just can't win in Russia. <laughs> you can't. Damn. It's a hostile environment for outsiders. Damn. Just watch yourself. Vladimir Putin just putting down the people. Putin down the people. <laughs> Where is it? Give him these bars. Oh, these bars. Are <laughs> oh, yeah, give him the Luke laugh, too, because... 
He's boss. <laughs> okay, Rihanna, speaking of alcohol, she is a kleptomaniac, yo. For real. She goes to bars. She'll go to, These like, bars. uh... <laughs> so, Rihanna, she goes Season to... Season 2 finale, baby! And she'll go to, like, restaurants, and she'll be having these miscellaneous hangs with her friends and everything. And whatever cup she's holding with her alcohol in it, she just leaves the freaking party with that cup, completely oblivious to the notion that there's uh, a real possibility that... Or not a real possibility. You're stealing the damn freaking glass! Are you serious, Rihanna? Like, you have to steal the glass? You can't just leave it there? Do you not care that much? Now you're preventing this bar from serving another alcoholic beverage. And what if that alcoholic beverage is what they needed to make budget for the month? You did that, Rihanna. You're holding them down. And secondly, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you going to miss their budget because a glass was stolen? <laughs> you sorry, keep going with your theory. <laughs> that was supposed to be one of those subtile little jabs that was just I wanted to move on from. If you picked it up, you picked it up. I was doing up. the math in my head. Oh, man. Because, of course, you're not going to miss it. But anyways, what do you think she's got? Do you think she's got a whole room, uh, like a wall full of all these glasses? Like, next to her Grammy, she's got a freaking cup from, like, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Maggie's Pub? Yeah, I believe that. Because you, my girlfriend used to do that. Um, she would take, she would go to, uh, when she went to a restaurant, like she, she had a cup from Red Robin. Oh, no, wait, maybe that was, that might not have been hers, but she used to use it. When she would go uh, to a place that served this particular kind of beer, Duvel, are you familiar with that? Mm -hmm. She would take the glass that said Duvel on it. She had a couple of them. Um, so, I yeah, I believe this is the thing that people do. My question is, though, just to kind of play devil's advocate here is, do you think that if Rihanna was like, hey, can I bring this glass with me, that anyone would tell her no? I would. Do You You would. I'm not trying to at miss Scott's my budget. At Scott's restaurant, at Scott's Tots, where they sell yeah. uh, they sell tater tots. And we never have a shortage of beer. She doesn't want people to steal her DNA. <laughs> yeah, I was going to get into that. Like, Genevieve, like, yo, you're pretty woke. Yeah. You didn't go to bed last night, did you? Because you're definitely woke right now. We can't have anybody cloning Rihanna. Um, I would like a clone of Rihanna. Well, sure. If we're having, if we're cloning Rihanna, pass me one. <laughs> yeah, but like we can't do it because she's taking her classes. <laughs> so that's that. Damn I, you! I think celebrities get special treatment, so I don't think even even if somebody does see her walking out with the glass and like, oh no, our budget, our budget shattered. But it's Rihanna. What oh are we gonna do? God. You can't say no. That was good right there. Our budget shattered because it's a glass. <laughs> Damn son! Wow, well, we are so on one for the season two finale. All right, uh, Star Wars, man. They're like, yo, we done Speaking messed up. Speaking of budgets. Up. There, because their budgets are like, yo, bro, wow, we failed miserably. Profit margins are not online. And Disney has been, have been a pumping out say. a lot of money into all their products lately. And they're like, yo, we're going to pump the brakes right now on the Star Wars franchise. And we're not going to release a million freaking damn spinoffs of it over the course of the next couple of years. All movies in the Star or in the A Star Wars Story uh, subcategory, have been put on hold. So Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, Solo, A Star Wars Story. Then they uh, purportedly had two more that were in active development, Obi-Wan and Boba Fett. Those have been... And you want to know why Star, like Rogue One was way more successful? Is because it was the first of its kind. Yeah, if they that's just true. did that. There's like, a couple factors. You know, there. if they did that like every couple years, that they yeah. would be fine. But yeah, it's just too the much. The market's getting saturated. People are getting Star Wars fatigue. Not only that, but the Last Jedi was a turd. And I know of a lot of people uh, personally that didn't go see Solo specifically because of how like insultingly bad the Last Jedi was. Like my I... brother is a huge Star Wars fan. He still hasn't seen Solo because he's still upset about uh, what happened with the Last Jedi. I love. Star Wars, before the actual, like, episodes come out, I'll go back and watch every episode leading up to it. I have not seen Solo yet. Well, I almost feel like I don't... I, I almost feel like I'm gonna... It's an injustice to myself to go see it. It's After really what good. I've, what it is what really I've good. Heard, I, I just can't bring myself to it. I'm gonna watch it when it comes out on, uh, you know, a streaming platform, Netflix, or whatever it comes out on, but... Not till then. Here's the thing: is how silly does this sound, though? Because this is obviously it's it was a box office disappointment. So you know they're not focusing their energy on this, but it's still made. It's made like five six hundred million dollars. 
So they didn't lose money on it. It, it isn't a bomb by any stretch of the imagination. It just isn't this humongous blockbuster that they expected it to be just simply because of the fact that it has a Star Wars name yeah. on it, right? Here's the issue. You've released, and I think we've been over this before, but just, you know, to go over it again briefly, you've released all the, the last two Star Wars movies in December, right around Christmas. Perfect. And time. Rogue One. The last three movies that have come out in the last three years have come out around Christmas. You decide to put out Solo in May in between Infinity War mm-hmm. and Deadpool 2, or right after Deadpool 2. Um, and, and there then, was something else in there, too. Yeah, there was... Um, was one that came out like the week after. Like Incredibles 2 is out now. You got Jurassic World coming out. It's, it's basically, it got buried in the middle of all these highly anticipated. Hold on, let me take a, take a look well, at Well, see, my, they uh, thought that because it has the seen. Star Wars brand attached to it, that was going to win. Right. And that's like where I feel that they're also like starting to fail with Marvel. They're thinking because it has Marvel, it can't fail. And they put out some pretty crappy movies lately. And it's just a matter of time before the Star Wars effect starts happening also with Marvel movies. When you're pushing out four or five Marvel movies a year, like, like bro, you're, it's starting to become a little too much. So far, Marvel hasn't missed yet. They have. They haven't. Not financially. Movie-wise, sure, I agree. But financially, they've, they've all been hits. But I agree. I just, it was, it was... It wasn't promoted well. It was released at a bad time. I don't know why you'd switch up that formula. I just don't know. I don't understand why you wouldn't say. But it's not like they have a movie coming out. I thought out in Christmas December. time was yeah. the best. Christmas because... time is good, like Star Wars time, and then they're just like, "eh, we'll put it out in May." Like my family, right? I have like a lot of my family lives in uh, <clears throat> down in Virginia, so they come up, or vice versa, we go down uh, always around Christmas time, and when we would. Like, our whole family would go to see Star Wars together. It was, like, a thing that we do. So I'm kind of disappointed that they changed it. It's yeah. It's poo-poo. You, you ruined my family. It's like, it was a good... <laughs> That's it. All of the, all of the um, interpersonal family issues in the, in the extended paint clan are because of moving Solo to May. Yep. Good. It's good to have a scapegoat for things. Yeah. So. Thank you, Star Wars. <laughs> this is all your freaking fault. Damn you. Oh, God, what a time. Um, Taylor Swift fans, man. All right, I'm going to... Let's rotate around here, because I want to yeah. play this audio we for you. got to switch spots, and you get to control yeah. all the sound effects and everything, too. Oh, man, I get the soft chair you for You get now. the soft chair, you get it all. Okay. Wow, the soft chair for the sauce boy. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. This was I apparently... just almost screamed the yes word. This is, this is oh. not a well-thought-out plan, I suppose. I feel really weird being over here on this side oh, of the... Oh, my God. Scott bumped his knee. Oh, Are you all right? That hurts so bad. It looks like it hurts. You're making a, really, making a very hurt face. Dang, your face is as red as my hat. Ooh. Damn. Oh. Season two finale, baby! Oh. We promise you a big one, and we are um. not going to leave this show until somebody's injured. I'm going to overreact like freaking Peter Griffin. I knew it. There it is. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. I don't like the lighting on me for this. Ah, it hurts, though, on the frill, but let's go. It makes me look fat. All right, oh. so uh, there's this, this trend at uh, Taylor Damn. Swift shows on her Reputation Stadium World Tour lately. One fan started this off um, at a show about a month ago, end of May. By This is what happened. At, at a particular point in the song, Delicate, they screamed, one, two, three, let's go, B. So check this out. So, they posted a video of that on Twitter, and I guess all the Swifties are just constantly in tune with what's going on on Taylor Swift Twitter, and so they picked up on that, and other people started doing it until it's, it's, check out this audio of, this is a show last week, basically the whole crowd doing this. Nah, this is kind of muffled because it's all a whole bunch of people screaming all at one time, but... What are they saying? One, two, three, let's go, Okay. Um, but it goes even deeper than that because Camila Cabello, who is opening for Taylor Swift currently, joined in recently. One, two, three, let's go, man! Oh, I could actually she, hear that time. She cut it off. That was on her own Instagram that she posted mm. that. And then there's video of Taylor, like, pulling the mic away from her mouth and, like, mouthing along with the crowd. So this is kind of just like the thing that you expect people to do on the tour now. This isn't really humongous news, but I just wanted to talk about it because it's kind of cool and also kind of scary how one person did one thing one time, posted a video of it on the internet, and now it's like a thing. It's like a thing that 
that Taylor Swift does. Like, it just, well, this is what you expected to do at a Taylor Swift show now. Well, last I knew, Taylor Swift wasn't too fond of the word bitch, so I would like yeah, to well, know why it's old, okay for that her was to the be old Taylor. Up. That was the old Taylor, and the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now because she's dead. Nah, well, so. I mean, now they're like, yo, one, two, three, let's go bitch, right? Yeah. That's... You, I, look, being a good young boy, I'm not going to say that word. I would never refer to anyone in such a derogatory fashion. I'm not referring to her in it, but I just want to know why is it okay now, Taylor? Because she's selling out stadiums and she can do whatever she wants. It was like when she put out 1989. Look, that's the point where you know Taylor Swift can do whatever she wants. Because she brought this, like, record to her label. And she was like, I want to put this album out. And they were like, no. And she was like, actually, yes. And then they put it out and it sold like a gazillion, jillion copies. And she'll, she could just do whatever she wants for the rest of her life now. She's got, like, oh, everybody right. is on Taylor Swift's puppet string. Um, with that all being said, and we talked about movies a little bit, so maybe we could have segued a little better. Oh, but, uh, shoot, yeah. Movie Pass Bill, this is your last official Movie Pass Bill of uh, Season 2, so we are about to close out the episode. What movie should the people possibly go check out on this splendid, glorious weekend? Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I think that's the only real new release coming out this week. Let me just check. Um, it's the only one available... Why is Crossgates not showing up? Oh, there it is. Um, Crossgates has more screens. But I I unfortunately am not going to go see it tonight because I'm incredibly tired. And I have incredibly to get ready. too tired. I have to get ready. <laughs> yes. I have to get ready for my uh, flight tomorrow. But I probably, I may see it next week. Whenever I see it, you know, I'll hit you with my review ASAP. Again, not like anybody really cares about my review, but I would highly recommend going to see it because the first one was fun. Um, the first one was more or less a retread of the original Jurassic Park, and it looks like this one's going to be kind of a retread of The Lost so World. So are you going to hold the same energy about this Jurassic Park movie as you did about The Incredibles 2? Um, it depends. Like the, like the energy that it's... Oh, look, G-Dog is going to bless us with his presence for the, the season, season 2 finale. finale! Come on in, G-Dog. We're talking... The talk. Season two. Yeah. Who, who thought it would last? Not me. I did. It's almost over. You I have faith have in everything long. that I do. Yeah. Today a longer show? Uh, yeah, we always, season per- we got started a little late, but we always go along these when days. When does yeah. season three start? Have we discussed July this? 2nd, when I get back from vacation. Why July? Why don't you take that week off, too? Because you're going to be off one of those days. Okay. Sure. Is that official? Is that uh, is that um, Hand of God? From the direct I'm, just, I'm just asking why you, you know, take some time <laughs> off. And... Well, because then Scott's going to have to do mornings that week, too. And I know how much he loves doing mornings, no, but I don't want to let him saying. have that much fun. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you trying to get rid of me? It's been a great season, too. Yes. We learned a lot in season two, yeah. to be honest yeah, we with did. you. Season two was we, a great period of growth. Yeah, we grew as so, a show. Why have you grown so much in the last year, Bill? You, uh, I've been eating my veggies. Posting that on... Uh, Insta and all your social media. Uh, National Selfie Day. Oh, it's National Selfie oh, Day. Oh yeah. I'll, here, I'll, I'll show you my, the picture that John is referring to. I believe the you one. said that you know this has been a I've, great year. I've learned a lot about of myself. Personal this year. growth. I, I didn't. I said I've learned a lot about myself. Oh hey, it's the first thing that shows up because. Oh wait. Because it's your own Instagram, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. There it is. There's my National Selfie Day selfie. Wait. What a bill. Yep. Got it. Check that. Pete my style, kids. So. so why have you grown? Give us like three reasons why you think that you've, you know, learned a lot about yourself this year. Um, I don't, I only really need one reason. And that's because, remember when the best summer ever ended, John? <laughs> yeah, of course so, you know, he does. You know how when you go to the gym and you gotta, when you work out, you gotta tear your muscles down before you can build them up, but then you come back even stronger? That's me right now. So you had to tear down your emotional uh, That's well-being. That's right. You got to hit rock bottom before you can get to the top and realize that you deserve better. All right. So that's <laughs> one. What, uh, what's, what else? That's it. That's all the reasons. No personal growth, like trying to be a better person, trying to be no, more No, I'm trying considerate. to be a worse person. I'm trying to be a more trying effective more person. I'm trying to be people that you work with. No, 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 no. A little no, bit no. more of a, you know, indoor voice as opposed to outdoor voice no, all the time. No, not that. Then, no, I just, I have learned a better way to deal with my problems is to just... Um, Come to the studio. Avoid them by going to the <laughs> studio. Yes. <laughs> when you take, screaming and yelling when you the, challenge uh, your problems head on, you get strongly worded emails, and I'm not a fan of strongly worded emails. From who? 
<laughs> I think we answered that well, question. It's been a great season, too. Yes. Can't wait to see what oh. you boys have, the Jams boys have. Oh, I can't, wait. It I can't wait to see what you guys have planned for season three. Oh, man. Season three. Yeah, season the three. wokeness the season. The woke season. Oh, man. Oh. oh, wait. That's the Luke Bryan laugh. We need the woke drop. There it is. I feel okay. so weird on this side of the screen. Yeah. I don't know how to react. Switch back. Yeah, switch let's back. okay. We gotta switch back to make it normal. Okay, so this is it for season two. Thank you for tuning in. Please share the show, like it, tell your friends about it, all that good stuff. Um, we appreciate your comments. Um, I think that interacting with you guys through the comment section has been a, a lot of fun in season two. Too bad we we want to do even more of that. Yes, in season three, you know, and uh, we keep season up three stuff. and beyond. Some, you know, like we, we will respond back to you in comment sections and everything. I was on one yesterday, a little bit in the comment section about the damn video thing. <laughs> Man, that was funny. And it's like it, it's never been me, so stop saying it's me. The whole time I've been saying it's not me. Uh, I can't control the settings; somebody ooh. else does. But it keeps going back to me. I think you misinterpreted that personally, but I don't want to start a big old fight about it. I think you misinterpreted what was being said. No, people weren't listening to what I was saying. I originally said, I it's not me that changes it. Somebody else has to change it. So I don't have the control. My settings are on public. Man, I'm just so I'm just so happy with season uh, two and how it's going that I don't want to leave it. Damn. We're still here and I Oh thanks. Thanks for my phone. Yeah. So that was annoying. Wait, let me see. Just let me make sure that we don't have any uh comments to address. So, yeah, well, he's looking then. I'm just going to close it out. Season 2, 3 is June 2nd. We'll be back July at it 2nd. July 2nd. Monday through Thursday on the Jam 96.3 Facebook page at 1030 Eastern Time. Because no matter how many seasons, that's the only time zone that matters. One. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! Cubicle show. What I'm talking about, boy. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Not a rectangle show. Not a triangle show. Not a pyramid show. It's a cubicle show. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. Cubicle Show. <laughs> <laughs> we just got one. Boy.